Hey there guys, what is going on? We are back and this is going to be your map guide for D-Program in Season 6 of Cold War. Now, if you're jumping into D-Program for the first time, you will probably be as impressed with this map as I am. This is very, very small. It actually looks a little bit bigger in terms of actual size on the uh, like the promotional stuff for this. It looked a little bit bigger than it actually is, but when you do actually play this map, it actually plays quite small and is actually a lot of fun, especially with the portals, the red doors, messing around in the top building up there. There's a lot of fun to be had on this map. Just before we do get into it here though, make sure you do hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on. It does mean an awful lot to me when I see that little number grow it means our community is getting a little bit bigger, which is always fantastic. And if you could take the time, make sure you do hit that like button as well. It really does help these videos out with the YouTube algorithm, which is just absolutely massive so as usual we're going to start off with the flags here we got the a flag which does surround the little helicopter bit here as you can see one of the cool things about this map is it's just basically like little segments of different other maps which is really really cool the b flag as usual in the dead center of the map does get overwatched by the weird little portally red dory building so keep that in mind and if we move across the map we can see that the c flag is just behind this building over here with the big rock in the middle, you can hide behind that and use that as cover. Adler's face in it is just, this map's just so cool. Like there's just so many elements that I didn't think that they were gonna go into and it's just way cooler than I thought it was gonna be. So first things first, we have to talk about the red doors on this map. There's only two and they do basically lead into this little room up here. It takes a little while, which is a bit annoying and the room is blindingly white. I don't know why it's so bright. Like it is just, it hurts my eyes, but basically if you look in here, there's two rooms and sometimes from my reckoning, what happens is when you do walk through the doors, I believe if you walk through that side, you're typically going to get put in this side of the dirt. So basically you're going to go back there, spawn here or a spawn in this hallway. It's kind of random, but it's also sort of determined by if there is anybody else on this side of the map. And if you do go in the door that is the one that we went through, you do spawn on this side as well. So somewhere there, somewhere there, and then in this hallway as well. And then sometimes you spawn in the middle, it sort of depends. But again, I think your spawn and where you go and where you get teleported to is dictated by how many people are in this map. So if you do, for example, spawn here, it's fairly safe to assume that there is somebody over there or there's somebody in the hallway or there's somebody here. So my number one tip for this part of the map is put a field microphone in this spot. If you're gonna play in here, you have to keep in mind that this is a heavily trafficked area because people just wanna try out the red doors. They're very, very common. Everybody loves it, man. But again, you do have to have some information here. Another good thing about it is though, you can actually hear when people do teleport in. It's gonna be very hard for me to include the noise here, but it just, the noise that you hear when you teleport through the door is the same noise that it makes when somebody else teleports through the door. So it is actually a little sound cue that you can hear. So turn those headphones up, turn the sound up, make sure you're listening out if you are playing in this area. But a way easier way is to just have a field microphone here, put it in a decent spot like these corners here. People do just immediately sprint past. So the corners of this bit and this bit here as well. Nice place for a field microphone. Again, just covers this area. When somebody does spawn and teleport to either that room there, this spot here, that room there, that spot there, or in the hallway, it is covered by the field microphone and you do get that information very, very early. Again, from this spot here, we can cover the B flag. We can almost cover the A flag. Does come down from that spawn there and that under there, that under there, and that hallway there. And you can pretty much see all the way back into the spawn on the seaside, which is sort of around that area there, that area there, and sometimes down there as well. And same on the other side, you can see people when they do just track from there, they run that way and they run through here and they run from down there. So again, this is a very, very good vantage point on this map, but you do have to be very much aware of when people are teleporting in here because I mean, you need to know it because if you're just sticking your head out this window and somebody teleports in here, it's just an easy kill most of the time. It is a little bit interesting and probably intentional that you can't actually get up into the window or onto that balcony from down here. Which I mean, definitely an intentional choice. It's a little weird. I probably would have liked to seen like something be able to jump up there. Like it's a little strange that, that is the only way up there and it does make the sort of teleporter areas quite campy for the most part. And you will not enjoy getting killed by somebody who like you just teleport and you get immediately gunned down because you're defenseless basically. There's not really much you can do about it apart from play up in this area. So just keep that in mind. But from these areas on the outside of the map, you can actually get a very, very good view into the corner of the map. So like you can see the you can see up into there. You can see that people do peek out from that way. Again, you can just sort of sit on these areas here and wait for people to peek out of these doorways and stuff, the little archways and stuff, because people do that all the time. You can sit here, get a nice little shot all the way through there, and just wait for people to sort of run out absentmindedly and just take some shots at them. Again, very, very common for people to sit up in that area. So being able to shoot them, get a decent angle on them is very, very important here. So similar from the other side as well, most people do actually sit on this barrel here and try to wait for people to shoot here. So if you are on the other side of this angle, just keep this spot in mind because people do sit here all the time waiting for you to peek out there. They'll take a shot there, they'll take a shot there. You can almost see people there. 
But yeah, for the most part, this is a very, very common spot. So just watch this barrel if you are in that position there. Again, similar spot from down here. This is a little bit more obvious as you are just standing in a doorway waiting for people. So you're quite the easy target when you are stood here. So just keep this in mind. And again, from over here as well, another little barrel that you can sit on. You can actually jump up this bit. Sometimes you got to get a decent sprint and you can actually like sometimes get the decent jump on it and do that little jump from there. Basically, you just have to hit the right sprint come around the corner and hit a jump. Sometimes it doesn't work, you gotta get the right bounce and then you get up there. The other door that we haven't really taken much of a look at here, again, this does teleport you to the other side. So basically just sort of spawns you on that side of the map there. You go through this door and you'll likely spawn on that side there. Look at the big stitch back there. This is just such a cool map, I just love it. Again, you, because this is a little bit of a low area, this is a, like a low wall, you can actually just chuck your grenades, literally just chuck your grenades over there. Most of the time, because people do sit in there quite often, you're going to get a kill or at least a little bit of damage there. And maybe you can get a jump shot on people who do take damage from your Semtex or your grenade. Another interesting part of this map is actually this back here. Like this area is really strange. Like this is a spawn. Like some people will spawn here. And if you are playing in these areas, it does spawn the or force the enemy rather to spawn back there. And you can really, really nastily set up some spawn traps back here. Like if you just wait here, People will walk up those stairs that's really, really hard to see you and you can just take them out here. So there's a little bit of an issue with this map in my opinion because people do spawn all the way back there and you can take up these super powerful positions, man, and just wait for people to walk into you. So it's a little bit of an issue. So just keep that in mind. You might get spawn trapped from here, but you can use this against other players, which is always nice. This little part of the map is very, very interesting here. There is some nice water down here, which actually doesn't work with Dead Silence. As you can hear, we splashing around. If you do jump into this water, you will make some footsteps down. People can hear that and you will be an easy target on people. So I wouldn't actually recommend sort of jumping, jumping directly into the water here because it's so noisy. You can probably just jump that way, jump that way towards the land bit. It's a little bit easier. But yeah, just don't jump in the water because you make some footstep sounds. You're an easy target if people do hear that. They've got their headphones turned up and you just go, it's really, really easy to kill you here. When I do come through this area though, I usually play around this corner here. For the most part, you are having the advantage. If people are sort of sprinting through and running through this area and you sort of wait for them to peek around the corner, you do have a little bit of peekers advantage because you do have the corner to play around in. You're gonna be seeing them first and you get an easy kill on people. So basically just play around this corner here, these corners in here, just basically just sort of play up nice and close to the wall and you get some easy kills on people. Again, this room is very, very interesting as well. Very ethereal, very sort of, very strange stuff here. I just love how white and glowy this is, just very goofy. But again, another spot you can just sort of see there. You can almost see people coming from that way there. And use this. I use this most often to sort of kill people who are coming from the B flag into this area here. So you can use this as cover, just sort of strafe walk in and out of this spot here. Again, a similar case with the spawns back here. Normally people will just spawn on this sort of area here, but if you are sort of pressing them a little bit, they will spawn back here, which I mean, is again, very, very easy for spawn traps. A lot of people do sit in that building there and just wait for you to walk out here. So again, another little spawn trap on this map. Just be careful. I just love the little voices that you can hear around the map. Like there's a lot of cool features. Like you'll just be walking around, you hear a voice clip play and you're like, where did that come from? Huh? It's just cool. And again, you can from, see from this door all the way into that area there. You can almost see into that doorway. And you can see the window there. And these are all nice grenade spots. You can just chuck stuff into there, into there, into that window there. Hopefully get some tags. Hopefully get some kills. Maybe get a little kill on somebody who does get de grenade damage taken. A little shot on them is very, very easy. The supply box is in the middle of the map on the B flag. So if you are struggling for ammo or you need grenades and stuff, you want to chuck grenades up into there. You just come to the resupply box, hit that, and then just chuck one all the way back into there. You can see it lands pretty much on that window. Another thing that I should probably cover while I am in here is these glass. Like the glass here is actually like one way. Like you can't see in there. So people who are, are in here, like this is a very, very common tactic, especially with the new shotgun. Like I've been using the new shotgun. It's actually really, really fun. You can just sort of aim down the site and then just peek out and get an easy kill on people. Because I mean, it's just like one way glass in a COD map is just really weird. Like I don't think it should be one way glass. So people don't just camp in here and wait for you to teleport. Because I have seen instances where I've been sitting here and just sort of peeking out on this window and then somebody spawned there. Like somebody teleported in and killed me. So it's a little risky to sit in here and do stuff like that. So just keep in mind, you're not entirely safe in here. Same does apply with the other window here, but it is a little bit more difficult to see out of this just because of the lighting you can't actually see as easily, but you can still use this to sort of peek out and people get that instant shotgun kill on them. So just keep this in mind as well. There is a lot of interesting ways to move around this particular area of the map. So in my experience, if you are playing down here and you do see somebody who is up there, they will likely jump down to meet you. So if you also jump up to meet them, you get that headshot, you get that ability to sort of just outplay them a little bit. Because most of COD is really just movement and sort of knowing where the enemy expects you to be. So for example, if you are fighting somebody who is coming around this corner here, they'll probably expect you to sort of take this position here, peek out wide. But if you just jump up here, 
you get that sort of advantage on them and they will probably be looking there especially if they don't know that you can jump up these so they might end up just looking here anyway and from this angle it's just way harder to sort of expect somebody to just be there like you're just looking here and you're expecting somebody to be there and then they're just up there killing you so again just use this to your advantage just sort of jump in and out of these areas when you are in gunfights because people usually expect you to just stay on the same level and again cod gunfights are usually just about where enemies expect you to be i don't think i've actually showed this but yeah this is the arcade from the pines map I mean, look at this. This is, just, this is just really cool. I just love this map, man. This little cheeky spot for long shots is to probably just sit up on here, maybe sit on these boxes here and just wait for people to spawn back there. You're a little bit of a sitting duck in this area again, sort of that way, that way, that way behind. But if you are sitting in this area here, just waiting for people to walk out there, you get a nice scope playing hardcore. You can get some easy long shot kills here. Again, you can use this sort of platform that does go to the red door section, just a little bit like this. People do usually just sprint out here and then they jump up there. And while their gun is down, you can get an easy kill on them. But again, if even if they sort of run around the other side, so if they run this way, I'll show you as an example. If they do run around this side, basically they'll just be like, oh, looking there, because that's more important than to sort of check up here. They'll check there first. And if you just walk out in the open, you get an easy shot on them there. Again, you can just jump up here. Wait for people to walk out of this rock area here, and you get an easy kill on most people. This is a particular corner that I've been killed at at least three times when I've been playing this map. So I'll just be sort of running, running my own business and just chilling. Just running this way, maybe, maybe coming this way. And there'll just be a guy sitting there. Like, don't do that. Just check this corner. Just be like little, little jump, little jump peek. Just make sure people aren't sitting in there because I've been killed at least three times by people sitting here. You can use your field microphone, but just check that corner before you sort of walk around this area. Same goes with up here. Again, this is another area where people can just sit in. Say they're running up to there and they're just looking at the door. If you can catch them by surprise, again, you can sort of catch people by surprise who are running through that way. But again, people will usually just go absentmindedly, la 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 la. And as you do get to this bit, you can get an easy kill from people there. So just check, just a little, again, a little corner peek, little check, and just make sure people aren't just sitting in this area. But I think that's it with this map, really. Like, it's interesting that there's no actual way to just sort of jump up there. I think it is sort of a little bit of a flaw of the map that you can't just sort of go like this and maybe jump up there. Because, I mean, having a second or a third way to get up there would be probably beneficial to sort of prevent people from camping up there. But because you can just sort of teleport in there instantly, like, it does take a little bit too long. I thought it would be basically really, really snappy. But it does take a little too long, and you're sort of defenseless until you can sort of work out what is happening. And yeah, when you do teleport in here, just be ready for a gunfight, because most of the time you'll just die instantly. So just check, make sure if anybody is up here that they're a teammate, they know what's going on. Or at least just be ready for a gunfight when you do teleport up here. But this map realistically isn't that complicated, it's fairly small. It's like a medium to small size map, and I actually think it is very, very cool. It's a really, really nice addition to Cold War Season 6. And that is going to be your map guide for this thing. I really, really do like Deep Program. I think it is a very, very cool addition to this game. Just the red doors, adding those, it being inside uh, Adler's subconscious. Like when you do load into the map, it's like Adler's mind in the subconscious. It's really, really weird, but I love it. I love goofy additions to the game like this, and hopefully you do enjoy this as well. If this video did help you out at all, make sure you do hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on. I do very much appreciate it, and it really does help me out. And while you're there, make sure you hit that like button as well, just to help us out with the YouTube algorithm, because that's absolutely massive. So again, thank you very much for watching, as I said, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!